Hello everyone, welcome to the video session VDP Auto Configuration in VXLAN BGP EVPN Programmable Fabric. My name is Karthik and I'm a Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. VDP Auto Configuration VDP stands for VSI Discovery and Configuration Protocol. It is part of IEEE 802.1Q BGP. VDP runs between the leaf and the station which is Nexus 1000V or it could be OVS, Open V Switch. We exchange network information between the leaf and the N1KV. We derive the segment ID from the Nexus 1000V and query the profile database information on DCNM, Data Center Network Manager, and download the config on the switch. The switch picks up a free VLAN from a dynamic pool and allocates that to the station N1KV. Whenever the virtual machine needs to communicate, it would use that VLAN when it sends the packet. Benefits. First and foremost, it's a reliable protocol. We have a secure connection established between your virtual switch and the leaf and we can use standard space TLVs to provision the networks dynamically. Second advantage is it's simple. You now can forget managing your VLANs. All the management can be done using VDP, easier segmentation. And the last but not the least, being open. It's a IEEE standard. So it works with OpenStack and you can also integrate with other upper layer orchestration tools. Let us take a look at live demonstration. The goals of the demo is to provision a tenant overlay network using DCNM10 with the help of VDP auto configuration trigger. This is the topology for today's live demonstration. We have a pre-existing VXLAN EVPN programmable fabric and today's focus will be on the one highlighted. I have a VDP session established between the N1KV and Nexus 5600 switch on port 125. We verify in step one that there is no overlay configuration on the switch and in step two, we create an overlay network for that particular VM, VDP 31100, part of tenant two in DCNM10. Finally, we power on the virtual machine and verify connectivity 